everyone! In today's Quick Hair Tricks video, I'm going to show you some different ways you can use hairspray. Most of us didn't officially learn how to use hairspray. Instead, we would just put up our hair, get it ready and finished, and then spray all over our finished updo to keep it in place. That is one way you can use hairspray, but oftentimes when you do it that way, it'll look kind of crunchy if you use a little bit too much hairspray, or the hair that you actually need to get sticky and to hold will be tucked already into the updo and you won't be able to reach it with the spray if you do it after you've already made the updo. So in this video, I have four tricks to help you use hairspray in different ways. I'm going to be using the Never Let It Go hairspray from eSalon. This is because it's a fast drying hairspray and it has very fine and even mist, which is helpful in general for when you want to use hairspray. So if you're ready to learn these tricks, keep on watching. Tip number one is for when you're curling your hair. I've heard of so many people having trouble getting their hair to stay curled with heat, so hopefully this trick will help you some more. Find a small section of hair and make it pretty small, no more than an inch thick. Liberally coat this with your hairspray. In general, you want to hold the bottle at least six inches away so that the mist has room to spread out and not make one spot too saturated. Then wrap the section of hair around your curling wand or curling iron. Hold here for 10 to 20 seconds and then slide the heating tool out, but keep the curl in this barrel shape. Pin to your head while you finish curling the rest of your hair so you give this hair time to cool. Once cooled, this curl barrel will probably feel pretty rigid and crunchy. That's a good thing. It means you used enough hairspray to coat the strands. So now remove the clip holding the barrel in place and squeeze the curl in your palm like you're squeezing out a sponge. This will make the strands softer and not sticking together, but still holding their curled shape. Then let the curl fall loose and with your fingers gently fan out the hair if you want a tighter and defined curl like this, or brush through if you want looser and softer waves. If things are looking frizzy, just take a comb and gently brush the surface of the hair. Once you're done, your curls will look similar to this depending on the size of the curling iron you used and the thickness of your hair. I'm not going to lie, there is a lot of hairspray in this, so your hair won't be as soft and movable as if you weren't wearing any hairspray, but the curls will last longer than otherwise. Another tip for using hairspray is to get more volume at your roots. To do this, Grab a small section again and lift it upwards. Spray the hairspray at the roots and wait a few seconds for it to dry. Then take a comb and back comb the hair underneath. Drop the hair section and you'll see you have much more oomph at the roots now. Again, you can smooth over the surface with a comb to keep it from looking frizzy, just so long as you don't push the comb's bristles all the way in and comb out the teasing. For reference, the hair on the left side of my head is teased and hairsprayed, well, the hair on the right side of my head is not and is pretty flat. See the difference? The last couple tricks I'm going to give you will help with managing flyaways and bits of stray hairs for a tidy, more precise hairstyle. I've made myself a loose and drapey half up to here, but I've got some frizz going on. I don't want to comb through this to smooth it because that will mess up the looseness of the style. So instead, I'm taking a powder makeup brush with soft and loose bristles. I spray this with a hairspray and then lightly brush that along the parts of the style I want to smooth. This will put individual frizzy hairs in their place, but the brush is gentle enough that it won't disturb the overall structure of the style. Finally, at the front of my head, I've got some baby hairs around my face that I want to tuck away. You can do this by finding a clean toothbrush, spraying that with hairspray, and then using short strokes with that to comb the baby hairs back into the rest of the hair. And those were four of some of the lesser known tricks that you can do with hairspray. If you liked this quick hair tricks and tips video, leave a comment below with what other kinds of styling advice you would like to see. And don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.